Okay, let me um, fill you in on some of the things that was happening with the homework. So section 10.3 was not showing in your homework folder, and that is my mistake. Um, it is showing now. It has the prerequisite there for section 10.2 of 64%. If you've already, if you haven't already noticed, the prerequisites were going up by 2% for each assignment, and um, our last assignment was going to have a prerequisite of 60. Uh, was was 66%. I've changed it so now you do have access to 11.3, even if you haven't completed 10.3. You just have to click on the assignment and merely open your net. <clears throat> and then you can close it right after, even if you don't have time to do one problem. But merely open your net will remove the flag for the homework section 11.3. Um, I did that because I know that some of you who had been moving ahead on the schedule that you should be moving on um, didn't have access to 11.3. And that, again, was because when I look at the assignment, as I open it to see how you would view it as a student, there's this warning that I don't have the prerequisite. Well, I never had the prerequisite, so I always just hit continue, and I wasn't recognizing what your your statement of the problem was. And as soon as I understood it, I went in and found out that I, I had it marked as unassigned, so it wasn't showing. Speaking of the way that these are marked, so all of these links are blue, even though we're past their due dates, because they're, they're still accessible. For example, 10.3 is going to 10.2 is going to be accessible, and there's there's no penalty for doing these. So if you want to do 10.3, 10, sorry, 10.2, 10.3, 11.3, you can do them, and there won't be a penalty. I'm, I'm retaining the due dates that were off here to the left to stay in sequence with the pacing guide. So let me jump over there. And you can also look at this under the syllabus tab. Um, this is just the one accessible from the Dropbox. So you see that uh, the assignments that were required was the 10.1, which doesn't have homework, you read it, was the 10.2, 10.3, which wasn't showing, 11.3, and so on. Um, now that's all been adjusted. So I'm going to go ahead and go from the syllabus too so that now you can have access to those and still complete them. If you can't complete them by midnight tonight, it is okay. Um, I've actually moved the, the due date for the quiz. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Because the quiz for Chapter 10 was covering 10.2 um, and 10.3, so I've actually added two attempts as well to the original three. So you can do 10.2. The, the chapter 10 quiz, which covers 10, 2, and 10, 3, and then you can move on to the 11 and 12 quiz. Um, again, that, that date can be moved, but here are the current dates. You should notice this also, uh, this difference between the practice exam, practice final exam, and the quizzes. The quizzes, after you complete them, you cannot view their um, the results. In terms of the specific results, you can always review, review so, results by going to gradebook and then reviewing there, um, even for omitted as assignments. But you can't review them until after the due date. The practice final is different. The practice final you can review at any time. So you should be aware that these five attempts you can get started on right now. Speaking of the practice final, I did have. Um, and I posted it also. I did have videos from last semester where I um, went over the practice final in advance to allow students to see how maybe I would approach some of the problems and focus on using tools like StackCrunch. You're going to want to focus on using some sort of tools because doing them all by hand is ridiculously long. So let, let me see if I can get this to load. What is loading right now, by the way, is the a playlist for the 10 videos that cover all those practice final videos that I made. So I started from 1 and went to 36 and made them in chunks so you could choose which chunk you wanted to look at. If you got stuck on question 34 and you didn't need to see the rest, then you can just go to the little segment that has question 34 worked out. So here they are. So 
um, maybe you do the practice and again like I said you can um, do it five yeah five attempts and you can do it and not have to wait for the due date to be able to look at the the results that you get so you can start doing it right now and see how much you can remember up to you know maybe 32 because this is where um, homework problems from chapter 10 and 11 and 12 start to show up in fact I don't even think I have any from 12 but I'll, I'll leave that to you to find out um, yeah so I think that's what I was going to say about that so if you know if you're doing it you want to look at just problems 10 through t to uh, 12 because you got stuck on number 11 then you've got 24 minutes here and you can fast forward and rewind it's an excessive amount of talking and you know that I'm well, maybe you don't know, but I'm, uh, I pretty often talk too much when I'm trying to explain something, but I just don't want to say too little. And I know that you can fast forward, pause, rewind, whatever. So please go ahead and feel free to use that playlist. Um, if you did not get this link, you can copy it down right now from the video. It's in Piazza, but if you're not using Piazza, you're probably not getting this communication, so pass it on to someone. Um, I also see some questions in here that it looks like I need to follow up with. I'll go ahead and follow up with those as well.